Hey Fulham lovers, our defender Kenny Teat gave an interview telling all about cancelling £138 million from Chelsea winners in one game. Also see what he said about Neymar. But first be sure to subscribe to the channel to receive all the news from Fulham. Kenny Teat is asked to think back over his performance against Chelsea on Friday night, specifically a second-half tussle with Raheem Sterling. Teat won a foul by the touchline in front of the away end after scrapping with the England international. The fans are singing his name to the tune of Human Leagues Don't You Want Me, and he is sat on his haunches, hands on hips, smiling. It was a heavy game for me, he grins. At some points, I was just like, let me have a break. Teat's performance against Chelsea was his most eye-catching to date but did not come in isolation. His manager, Marco Silva, said in a press conference this week that Teat has shown consistency all season. The Premier League suits me, Teat says. I've had a lot of injuries in previous seasons. The gaffer has given me confidence. He trusts me and I can show my qualities. The team are doing well, for some reason it's all falling into place. At Stamford Bridge, in the match that matters most to Fulham supporters, Teat raised the bar. The £3 million, $3.7 million, signing faced three expensive signings, Mikhaila Mudrik, who lasted only until half-time, Noni Maduke, and then later, Sterling. Combined cost, £138 million. When you play Chelsea, you are always motivated, he says. You know they have a lot of signings. You know you are going to play against expensive players. I had it before, in France, against Neymar. I had that experience. I just had to be calm and do what I had to do. Teat did what Teat does best, face down wingers in one-on-ones. He won 10 duels against Chelsea and added an expensive trio to a growing list of thwarted players that includes Luis Diaz, Sun Heung Min, Jack Grealish and Pedro Neto. To stop someone gives me a good feeling, he says. I'm a defender. I have to stop attackers. There is an art to the defensive side of a take-on. Especially when already on a booking, which happened to Teat against Liverpool and Tottenham, against Diaz and Son. I know when I have to make a tackle and not to make a tackle, the 27-year-old says. If it, getting a booking, happens, you think, fuck, but after you go with the flow. You have to make sure if you make a tackle, it's not a foul. Don't give the referee a reason to give you a card. T dates his defensive nous back to his early years as a seven-year-old playing football in Amsterdam Oost, the neighborhoods of East Amsterdam. He would play small-sided games against friends, often academy players who were sometimes five years older. This included the Narsing brothers, Luciano and Fergel, who both built careers in Dutch football. The former played for PSV Eindhoven, and then Swansea City. They let me play, and I was always on them, Teat says, clapping his hands to mirror one of his trademark challenges. They turned to me and said, why don't you go for a trial? I went through rounds of trials and it fell to between me and another player. They took the other guy. I then played for my local team, AFC DWS and then Z Berger, before getting into Ajax. I was thankful to the boys from my neighborhood, they drove me. Teat's father, Miguel, was a European kickboxing champion. But a calling on that front was never on the cards. My father never wanted me to do that, he says. There are, though, elements to his playing style that mirror a fighter. Maybe there's something in that, he says with a smile. I have had to fight for everything. That's what's taken me so far, and is giving me my strength. I'm proud, grateful, thankful for where I am today. He is grateful to his mother, Natasha, in particular. Teat comes across as reserved, albeit within a steel. When he was small, his mum pushed him into football. I was a little shy, Teat says. She mentioned that I was quite good. When I was five, she brought me to a football school, in an indoor hall, and I was just following the teacher. It wasn't for me. But I think that's also me as a person. I need to feel good. At Arjux, he points to coaching influences who kept him on the straight and narrow. He references Frank de Boer, who gave him his senior debut, as well as Orlando Trustful, his under-17s coach and de Boer's former assistant. I wasn't always in the right place, with my head, says Teat. I wasn't always focused. You're living in Amsterdam, at 15, 16. You are a teenager, hanging around with friends. I didn't know what I really wanted. It's always good to find someone who puts you on the right path. Teat was mainly a central defender at Ajax before converting to right back. At under, 23 level, his coach was former Manchester United defender Yarp Stam. I learned a lot from him, says Teat. He explained how to defend, how to use my hands, those kind of things. 
he was really important. In this interview he said a lot, including who he looks up to, if you like it please like and share this video to help us even more. Teat switched to right back as opportunities were limited in central defense. I really like Carfu, he says. Paolo Maldini too. And Danny Alves. He's not the same player as me, but he was aggressive. His attacking skills are amazing. If you want to be a right back, you need to provide crosses and lots of assists. That's what I'm trying to do. Attacking qualities are certainly important at a team like Ajax, famed for their total football and front foot mentality. There was pressure, but you have to adapt and work harder, he says. You can't stand still. Teat has shown his attacking influence at Fulham. Against Chelsea, he delivered seven crosses into the penalty area and now has four assists to his name. Having Alexander Mitrovic in attack helps. You know his quality and what he wants, he says. I'm aiming for him. He's not the only tough tackler at Craven Cottage. João Pulhinha is the best tackler I've ever seen, he says. His timing is amazing. Especially his standing tackle. He's an unbelievable player. Fulham's good form has gone hand in hand with his own. From the first game, you could see we were there and I always knew we had a good team, he says. We're showing it. It's incredible how the season is going. Marco Silva, in how he manages us, is really good. Teat mentions feeling fitter physically and mentally and it is evident his frequent injuries of past seasons have proved frustrating. He wants to put those issues behind him. I don't want to think too much about it. But I feel good. I'm always saying to myself, let's see day by day how it goes. I hope I feel like this for the whole season. That mentality applies in all areas. He has renewed competition after the signing of Cedric on loan from Arsenal. We know players need competition, he says. I can control what I can do. At the end of the day, the best players play. We have to create the best team to have great results. For now, he is not thinking about adding to the 14 caps he has won for the Netherlands. When I was young I thought a lot about it, he says. I did it and I'm really proud of that. I'll always play for my national team if they call me. But my full focus is on Fulham. I'm going day by day. You never know. It's always a dream to play for the national team. You also liked the interview, our warrior said it all, comment if you liked it too, don't forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell. This is the Cottage View your best Fulham news channel.